Hey, welcome to flipping $400 into a Ferrari. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels and you are watching Flying Wheels. Right there is my $400 Ferrari flip, an 05 Bentley Continental GT, along with that, an 05 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And there was something else around here. Where did it go? What could be missing? Ah, the Acura TL sold in literally two days. Before I even got to finish this video, the Acura sold, and I'm gonna tell you how much I got at the end of this video and where we're at in our flipping $400 into Ferrari standings. I will tell you, I am stuck with this car right now. Is that a problem? No, we're, it's January, it's winter. I drove this thing in my first snowstorm. I absolutely love it. And I actually have a set of roof racks that I kind of want to put on it and make it my ski car. Like I can take it up to the mountains to go skiing because I just think that would be super cool to take a Bentley Continental GT to go skiing. <laughs> Well, if you've been following along, you know that I not only have that that I'm stuck with, I have the 05 Jeep Grand Cherokee, which I've had some serious problems with this week. And I'm going to tell you, that wheel right there fell off the car. I mean, the whole knuckle, everything came off. So everything from the brake rotors to the ball joints, uppers and lowers, the bearings, the hub, everything is brand new on that car. I wish I had videotape, but the camera didn't get the angle. See this right here? That is all differential fluid, gear oil. See that right there? That is all drag marks from having to pull it out of the road. So the night before Christmas Eve, German was moving some cars around and the Jeep Grand Cherokee broke. The wheel fell off in the middle of the road. They had to back drag it all the way into the parking lot. They got it out of the street at least and left it there. And then the day after Christmas, I had to go back and drag it all the way back and then push it into the garage so we can repair everything. Cause obviously it wasn't really mobile and couldn't be driven. We inspect all of our cars. We go through all of our cars. Before we even got that thing in to check for ball joints and everything, the entire hub fell off. The wheel fell off on the side of the road. The car dove into the road and we had to back drag it into my parking lot to get it into the garage to repair it. So the Jeep is repaired. What's a little scary is it had a July inspection sticker. Now the reason that's scary means like in the past six months, somebody has inspected that car and the entire wheel fell off. It took me three days to get all of the correct parts because Again, no one's working. We got parts sent from wrong places. It was an absolute disaster. But once again, it is repaired and up for sale for $5,000. We have about $2,500 into it. I'm going to make a $2,500 profit on that Jeep when it sells. And like I said, it's winter time and a four wheel drive, good running Jeep Wrangler that's inspectable will sell. Why do we still have this? I will tell you, that is a Faker's car. What do I mean by a Faker's car? Well, number one, I love this car. It's all wheel drive, it's 550 horsepower, it's twin turbo, it is an absolute beast in the snow. It's an amazing luxury car. The problem is, it was like 250 grand brand new. So ballers on a budget want this car. I have had so many stupid offers for people that can't afford this thing, or applications with people with terrible credit scores. I mean, you basically get a 400 credit score for having a name and a social security number, and I've had 400 credit scores over and over and over for people trying to buy this Bentley. Now let me give you a recap of where we're at. We had $35,000, I have about 29 into the Bentley, I had $6,000 remaining. So I wondered, what could we buy at auction with $6,000? We ended up with this Jeep Grand Cherokee and an 08 Acura TL. I will tell you, the Acura TL was nasty. Let me just fast forward and I'm gonna show you everything up to this point. Last week, I took $6,000 to an auction to see what we could come up with. I ended up with this 08 Acura TL and it was absolutely nasty. I don't know what was worse, the smell or the condition. First thing we did when we got it back to our shop was remove the seats so we could really see what kind of shape this car was actually in. When I bought this car, I went against all my advice that I give to you guys. I didn't even look at this car before I bought it. The tail light was cracked. I ended up finding one pretty inexpensive on eBay. Vacuum. You can see with the seat out how nasty that actually is. We're gonna vacuum it, then we're gonna blow everything out with our Typhoon, and then we're gonna vacuum it again. Having the seats out made everything a lot easier to really see how bad the car and the carpet is. That right there is nicotine. I was very careful about scraping this paint off the seats because I want to tear into the leather. We also soaked and scrubbed the carpets really well to really get all the stains out. After that, with the seats out, we sprayed them down. Much comes off without even touching it. Look, it's starting to run off already. You may notice that I am fully stocked up. Why? Because tax season is only a month away. We're in a new year. They're going to get their tax refunds back. With tax refunds, means spending money, means they're going to be buying inexpensive cars. We have 
2000 Lincoln LS that is like superb condition from Florida. I have a bunch of fairly inexpensive cars. Right there is my Nissan 350Z. That is my $3,000 auction car. And then a bunch of trucks because again, it is winter time. My Eagle Talon TSI video is coming up. Why do I have two of those? You'll have to wait and find out. <laughs> On a completely separate note, I just picked this up. That is an 08 Z06. There is a big story behind this car. Why did I pay like half price on this car? Huge story behind it. Let me figure out how to unlock it. Weird, weird car. The story's behind it. So new video coming up, but listen to this. There we go. If you can start it, I'll let you do a donut. Oh no. Alright, let it rip. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> German took the initiative to go at this thing. He's already doing the headlights. I couldn't have timed this any better because here is half, here is the other. This is crazy. It's a perfect, it's almost like you drew a line down the car. Wow. It's coming out, oh, it's coming out incredible. This is great, German. And then the leather is dry. Look at how nice this leather came out like it's it's in great shape again i mean i can't do anything about the cracks but look at that part i'm going to put the seat cover over this and leave that it looks amazing and then we got that right there let's see how the carpets came out now that it's dry were the windows up all night no no it was i just put okay. the windows oh right 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 yeah they're better oh my goodness german you're so good at this german should be done buffing it today We'll replace the tail light. We'll put the seat covers on. Then it goes on that lift for state inspections. That is so ugly. But look at the seat from here. It looks so good otherwise. It does still smell like a monkey's bottom. All right, ready for the seat reveal? Now keep in mind, we could not get an upholsterer to even call us back. So this is what we went with. These seat covers. German, it's, <laughs> it's like night and day. Yeah. This is night and day. How weird is it that the Odyssey got traded in with these seat covers? So that match so the same week that we need them. That's wild. I noticed the tail light is no longer in this box. Has it been replaced? Because this headlight looks incredible. That headlight looks incredible. The paint looks incredible. Let's see. And the tail light is brand new. All right, tighten that fuse up. Battery fuse. It's beeping. That's a good sign. Let's see. Ready? Uh, all right, problem solved. And this thing was just beyond repair. It was caked with stuff I could not scrape out of there. It was like hardened. So instead of having it multicolored red and gray and everything, I'm just gonna paint it black. And now we have the final touches. We're just gonna shine all this up, make it clean. Finished product. So we're gonna shine everything up on the inside so it looks nice and clean and new again. And then we're gonna wash all the windows on the inside because all the nicotine from smoking in here is, uh, it stains not just the ceiling, but the nicotine stains the glass. So scrub the glass really, really well. Actually, if you just spray it, you'll start to see the nicotine run off. And then we have a thing called an ozonator, which is this right here and it's like, Instead of oxygen, it's two parts oxygen or something. It basically sucks all the air in, decontaminizes it, and sprays clean air out, but it kills everything inside the car. So when you put it in, leave it. Don't go in the car. It's toxic. And uh, the next day, car smells way better. It killed all the bad ions in the car. I also roll the windows down when I'm shining everything because I don't want to get like the silicone stuff all over the windows. So I do the shine like an armor all coat on all the plastics. The other thing too, anytime I'm using like an armor all or a shining product, uh, I try not to spray anything that your hands touch. So like steering wheel, shifter, door handles, buttons. I try not to touch that stuff. It's just uh, like aesthetic. So the dash, the door panels, 
the sills, things like that. Look at that. You would never, ever know anymore. for this. On the last trick, I use stuff called Color Coat by Seton. Now you can match the color to your leather. I don't paint the leather, but this is a flexible coating you can use on vinyl and leather. I just dust it on and then I actually wipe it off so it just barely coats the leather and you can see all the spots that were in there are still kind of visible but not nearly as bad as they were before. That is done and then I did that center console as well. Let's look at it from this side. So that center console was rough. And it's not an exact match, and it's still wet, which is why it looks so off, but this is how it looks like when it's dried. And that was our other Ferrari flip that Dave is working on. Dave, yeah. we got washer fluid reservoir, washer pump. We did a couple other things to it as well. It kind of stinks that that headlight's new, that headlight's old. I don't know why someone would do that. Had an exhaust repair, and then the washer lever, stock, whatever you want to call that, has been replaced. Was that a lot of work to do? Nope, it's just three bolts to take that plastic. This and piece. unplug it and go. And it, there's a screw on top, it slides out and plugs itself, you slide the new one in and put it back together. Nice, we've run into a problem. So there's the new washer reservoir, the new washer pump. See that hole right there? There's a secondary pump that was discontinued. You cannot buy a second pump for that. So there's just a gaping freaking hole in the reservoir that we don't have a part nor can we get a part to fill. Here they are, they're both done one week turnaround time and we had to focus on a lot of other things including a snowstorm this past week. Both of these cars came out amazing, especially that one. I'm going to photograph it right now and it looks so good. But this Jeep Wrangler, we had to do the washer, we had to, we had to do so much work to this thing and it really came out nice. And right before winter or as we're going into winter, oh my goodness, I hate that the mechanics go in the cars with their boots on after we just clean this thing. Ah, it drives me nuts. We just detailed it and then they step on everything. Came out so nice. Going into winter for five grand, this is gonna be an absolute steal. It's an 05 with 177,000 miles and it runs great and it passes inspection. It's serviced and detailed, five grand. We paid $1,700 for it and we did put a lot of time into it. So you get to see, it's not just a flip. They're not just quick flips. We put a lot of time and effort into these things. We do the repairs and now I'm gonna make, I don't know, close to $3,000 on it. But you can see with effort comes reward. Now this one is my favorite. This was the diamond in the rough. Actually, you can see where German missed buffing a spot. Can you guys see that? Yeah, there it is right there. This was the diamond in the rough. I paid $3,500 for it. We did a lot of work to this thing. And here it is with the floor mats. You can see how nice now. I did dye the carpets. I did dye the leather and I put floor mats in. This thing came out great. It smells good. Those were a godsend. I can't believe they came off that Odyssey way over there. It was like such perfect timing. The tail light was replaced. The paint came out great. Oh, we didn't fix that yet. German's still going to... Why didn't... Come on, man. Why didn't he take care of that while I was in the garage before I went to take photos of it? He's been working on it all day. He told me it was all set. This, I'm going to list for $8,000. Now, we paid $3,500, maybe just under $4,000 for it. I have about another $500 into it, plus all of our time and labor. This is going to be a score. So both of these should make us a ton of money. But you can see, again, I just said it, but you see how much time and effort really goes into these things. It's not just buy and sell, buy and sell. We put a lot of time and we put a lot of love into these things and we still have to market them. We still have to list them. We still have to show it to however many people come by and try to haggle with me. I have to deal with all the Facebook marketplace headaches. And then not to mention like the cost of doing business. Now, these are Ferrari flip cars. <laughs> Viewer. Now, these are Ferrari flip cars. I'm not taking into consideration any expenses for shop expenses. These cars are what make the business money. These cars are what's working towards our Ferrari flip. Now, let's go take some photos of this car now. I actually forgot, yeah, I forgot how fast Honda V6 uh, VTEX are. This car is quick and it runs great. There she is in all her glory. You can see behind me, the sun is setting. The car looks incredible. It's all about lighting. So take pictures of the cars in the right lighting. Black cars don't look good in the sun because the clouds look like haze in the paint. This like sunset 
has a nice glow over the cars but doesn't cast shadows interiors of the cars same thing there are no interior shadows at this time so you can take some great photos that's when i like to take photos now this car is done and this is the stuff that makes me enjoy my job when i first started this is the stuff i was buying and selling and you can still see we make a great profit even on cheap cars now yes i could buy based on where we're at in this flip series i can buy some more expensive cars but that isn't as fun i don't get to do this stuff and this is what i enjoy doing i like the instant gratification of buying fixing cleaning selling something and really really bringing it back to life three days later sold 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 now what everybody wants to know craig how much did you make on the acura tl well we had it for a week it took us a week's turnaround time to get it really really nice we had to do a bunch of work to it a battery some brake pads we had to do a, a couple miscellaneous items that you should have seen already all said and done we had four thousand two hundred dollars into it we sold it for seven thousand nine hundred dollars in two days that is a three thousand seven hundred dollar profit on one car now we still have the jeep grand cherokee that i have to try and sell and i don't know what i'm gonna do with that thing i just i'm ready to break even on it but i do still kind of like it all right so where are we at for our figures we own two cars right now and we've sold our third i don't want to get into owning multiple cars it gets convoluted and that's not how i wanted to do it but the bentley is clearly not selling the Grand Cherokee, I ended up buying just because I had the money and I was at the auction, and the Acura was the real Ferrari flip. But I'm going to count the Jeep Grand Cherokee as the Ferrari flip series too, because that came out of the Ferrari flip money. Where are we at for figures? Well, I really don't want to sell that Bentley Continental GT for under $30,000 because it is an absolute score at that price. But I'm in New Hampshire, and it's winter, and it's a hard, hard sell. So let's just say we sell it for $29,000, which is my break-even point. We've then sold the Acura for $7,900, and I have the Grand Cherokee listed up at $5,000. Let's just say we sell it for $4,500. Now, I haven't put any extra money into any of these vehicles. Anything that we've invested into any of these cars have come out of the Ferrari Flip Fund. So when we sell a car, if we sell it for $7,900, that is cash in our pocket. That moves on to the next vehicle. What's the grand total so far? We'll add $29,000, which would be the base price on the Bentley, $4,500, let's say, on the Grand Cherokee, and $7,900 on the sold Acura. That brings it to a grand total of $41,400 so far. That's pretty amazing considering I'm doing this, like, really at a snail's pace. So we're at $41,400. That's pretty neat, I think. So in the next video, I'll probably go to the auction with that $7,900 and see what we can come up with so we can keep the series moving along. This is back to the basics this is the stuff i love to do and and i hope you guys got to see that i enjoy doing this stuff and if you want to learn how to do it three things start your dealership.com like how to get your dealer's license how to buy cars wholesale from the auctions how to buy trade-ins how the auction works how to get your financing financing for customers financing for you everything accounting taxes it's like it is all there i wish i had this when i started out start your dealership.com down below now if you don't want your own dealership you just want to learn how to buy and sell cars for profit without a dealer's license and do it legally, carflipping101.com, link down below. It's so much more involved even than this video. Like this video had a lot, the entire course is crazy. It, it is start to finish. Now, if you don't wanna buy the version, the, the paid version, you can get a free version, like an abridged version, like a shorter version. It, at carflipping101.com forward slash free to try it out. If you love it, then buy the real one because that's really, really cool. Now, if this video was helpful, which I hope it was, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up because it helps boost the algorithm so other people get to see it. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's the deal? Subscribe already, will ya? And you can follow me on my day-to-day -day on Instagram and TikTok. Links to all this stuff right down below in the description. I'll see you all later. Have a great day. Adios. Hey, thanks again for watching right here in the center. If you click there, you can subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. To your left and to your right are some really fun videos and playlists, so make sure to click those. And always help me out with a thumbs up because it helps boost the algorithm so our videos grow to a wider audience. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.